Most respected Thai, dear monastic brothers and sisters, dear friends, and dear little friends, uh, this morning uh, I brought also my friend with me. Uh, for the little ones, you guys know what this is? A what? Is that tangerine? Mm. Yeah, yeah. Right. Tangerine. Tangerine? That's a new one. Okay. Orange. Orange? I thought this was a ripened lime. <laughs> Are you guys sure? Well, I guess we can ask to see uh, one way to be able to listen to our friend here, we have to be very, very quiet, very, very calm. And to do so, the best way is to follow your breathing. So can everyone try with me? Take a deep breath, breathing in, Breathing out. And then I would try to ask to see. Little guys, little friend, some of us think you're an orange. Some say you're a tangerine. But I think you're a ripened lemon. Where are you? Where are you from? Hello, silly monk. <laughs> I'm not any of that. Really? No. That is just a name that you give to me. I'm not an orange or a lemon or a tangerine. I'm really more than that. Really? Don't look like you're more than that. Just some orange looking ball? No, I'm much, much more than that. Just about a week ago, I was resting in my mother's arm, far, far away. My mom was very, very big. I was hanging on a branch all the way up like this. And every day, I had the sun shine on me. I would feel so much warm. For months and months, I sit like that. And my mother, taking very good care of me, she gave me lots of water. She brings lots of minerals from the earth with her very, very deep, deep roots. And also, I have a lot of friends that come to play with me. There's the wind that come by and swing me back and forth once in a while. There are bees that come by and visit me. So actually, I'm a lot more than what you see that is right here. And before this, I wasn't very, very red and plum like this. I was actually a very, very beautiful flower. Can you guys really believe that this is usually before it was a flower? It don't look like a flower to me. Right? Are you sure you were a flower before? You don't look like a flower. No, it's true. I used to be a very, very white and soft flower. I smell very, very fragrant. Along with my many, many brothers and sisters. And there's many, many friends that come. There was the butterfly. There was bees that came. And I grew up with them. And then as I grow up, I become like this, just like you, Mr. Monk. You are not always this big, 
Were you? <laughs> Actually, it's true, huh? Because before, I think I was just more like you too. And very, very gentle too. But now I'm kind of big and plump too, huh? <laughs> Ah, so I guess you're right. You could be a little flower. So what are you doing here? Ah, I'm on a journey, a journey for transformations. I started out as a small little flower, like this one you see here. White like that. And then, as I grow up, I become a little fruit, like this little guy over here. Can you guys see this? This little, little guy, very small. And every day, my mom feed me a little bit of water, a little bit of food, a little bit of nutriment. And I grew up to be bigger and bigger. And that is part of a journey, a journey to grow up, a journey to be able to do something, be better. And now, here I am, but I'm kind of lost. Why are you lost? I've been sitting on the shelf for weeks already, but I don't know what to do next. I have transformed from a beautiful flower to this red, orange form that you see before me. But then my mom is not here anymore, so I don't know what to do next. Well, dear friends, I think our little friend is a little lost. What should he do next? Uh, we could. Anything else? Any guidance for him? Yeah, we could do that. Well, I also have another idea. Little friend, since you have traveled so far and came here, and be with me in my hand now, why don't you join me? <laughs> I could give you a home in my own body. <laughs> because I am also on a journey. And one day, I want to become a Buddha. So if you join me and help me, when I become a Buddha, you will also become a Buddha. Does that sound good? I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is very precious time because out of all the trees that are out there, out of all the fruits that are out there, this little friend here have found me, and I have found him. So many causes and conditions that could happen along the way, but here we are together. So this is a very precious moment. For me, when I have him in my hand, I feel that he is a gift sent by his mother, the, the tree, to me. But not only that, also the earth, because there's many, many nutrients that he have taken from the earth and stored in here, and also the water from the rain, and the warmth from the sun. Look at this, the skin is so orange. It must be very, very warm sitting in the sun and ripen. So it's the same for you. When you meet a friend, don't just be casual, but really be there for your friend. 
And to do so, you have to follow your breathing. Breathe in, calm your mind, breathe out, and recognize, recognize your friend that is right there with you. Maybe today you will meet a special friend along, among yourself, or later when you sitting there, you may also find a friend just like mine. So cherish him, cherish her. Okay, and for me, I really want my friend here to be part of me because this is a continuing journey for him and also for me because I also want to grow, maybe not bigger, but maybe grow stronger in my, my mind. So in order to cherish and appreciate what I have, I will look deeply into what I have and take good care of it very slowly. So I see the form, I have the feeling, and if I open like a present, when you open your present at Christmas, don't open so fast, open slow, very little, a little, like this. And you can smell the very, very fragrant scent of, of this citrus, this lemon, orange, ah, who cares? It, it smells very, very wonderful that the friend have given to you. So when you try, open very slowly and notice each action, each of your finger as you peel out the outer skin and see that inside there's actually much more than what we see outside, right? It's the same as your friend. Sometimes you see him, you see her, and you thought, that's it. That's all they are. But it's not true. They are much, much more. You just have to understand them a little bit. You have to spend some time with them, find out what else is there underneath that skin, right? And then once you have skin open and try, try a little bit. With the smell, fragrance, try in your mouth. Mmm. So sweet. Lots and lots of vitamins in it. And that's going to help me grow very strong. That's going to help my immune system to be much better. So when you eat your food, when you chew, Taste it, taste it all the way, completely, when it's in your mouth. And notice how good it really is, and how much good it's gonna help your body to grow stronger. Even the next time, if you eat a broccoli or a Russell sprout, <laughs> it may not look that delicious, but you know, it's going to help you. Look at me. I eat a lot of broccoli later. But if I eat a lot before, I think I also grow much, much stronger in my bones. So this is a story of my friend. And now he's part of me. So later, when I become a Buddha, he will also become a Buddha. So it's the same for you. When you make your friends, you have friends. When you're happy, when you're fresh, your friends will also benefit from that. They will also be happy. They will also be fresh. And the brother and sister here have a lot of um, playful games for you later today. So I like, um, <laughs> see, very playful. <laughs> Uh, so I would like uh, all of you to, uh, when you listen to the sound of the bell, to stand up and join your palm together. This is how we greet each other. So when you hear the sound of a small bell, stand up. Join your palm together. And now turn around to all the others behind you. 
And next time I said the bell, bow to them because you'll be going out to play. And on your way out, don't forget to make a new friend, okay? I have a whole basket of friends like this waiting for you to give her a try. Have a wonderful day, kids. <laughs>